Hey, it's good, good, good to see you. Tonight, I was hoping to do a little tarot reading with you. A casual little tarot reading. And I thought that we could do it in a kind of pick a card style, which I have never done before. It seemed fun. So, that's what we're going to get into few things before we begin. Um, I washed my hair today and I put it in a bun as it was drying. So it kind of dried in a funky way. So I'll probably be fussing with it a fair amount, which if you've been here before, you know is not really anything new. And so I'll have these earrings, which are my current And this candle here that I got as a gift for my birthday. Um, I thought I would light some incense, but then I thought a candle kind of displays better on the camera. It's easier to see the light. for us. Um, and I also have some tea. This is well-rested tea from Trader Joe's. So, without further ado, I'm going to do a little spread that I kind of made up. I've really been liking the Radiant Wise Radiant Spirit Spirit Wise I don't even know the name of it Deck Which has roses and lilies On the back It's a Rider's Rider Waite style deck It's white So I am tongue tied So it's the same Imagery you're used to seeing Probably but it's borderless and the colors are a little deeper, a little more autumnal, I think. Um, and it's not only borderless, but it's also kind of zoomed in almost. Like sometimes things are close to the edge, which I I don't mind and I find it's more immersive. And then the Major Arcana have these titles below. So, I've really been liking this deck a lot, a lot, a lot. And, um, I originally started pulling cards with it. Well, I wanted to pull cards from an Oracle deck to accompany cards I was pulling from the deck I just showed you. Um, so I reached for this deck, which is the Supra Oracle deck from Lucy, which is U U S I U S I. There we go. And that just looks like this black line drawings. Um a little bit of color when it gets into sacred geometry and a lot of cards that play off one another. I just think it's gorgeous. Here we have nothing, nothing, nothing. So um, I'll be drawing cards from this deck too. We're going to draw one card for your current situation, and then an oracle card for the key, the key, the key, and then another card for the situation that that key would lead you to. So, a future better situation, a place that um, you could end up in if you keep the key in Have a little tea 
thing I wanted to say is that um, even though I am fairly well versed in the tarot deck I am doing today, shuffling today for you, because it's just classic writer weight. I have been watching videos lately where cards have been drawn and then the meaning has been read from a little booklet or a book and I actually really, really enjoy that just in terms of ASMR being all the tiny pages of the book or normal size pages it actually doesn't matter and reading from the book so for the, the writer weight Rider Waite cards. I'm going to read just straight from the booklet, which it comes with. Um, the Oracle deck, on the other hand, I it doesn't come with a booklet, and I've not yet saved money to buy the guidebook that accompanies it. So, on those cards, I'll be speaking a little more extemporaneous. So, you would just think of your question or intention, ask a question or set an intention, and I will select one, two, three down for the current situation. where you might end up. Um, I've been thinking a lot lately about the best possible timeline, your best possible timeline, and mine, ours together, which is something I first heard from a S M R. She's amazing. She has really beautiful energy, and I've been enjoying her uh, channel lately, which she just started this month. So you should watch her, I think, second video is about the best possible timeline. Um, yes, anyway, so another way to think of this card might be as uh, an indication of or representation of your best possible timeline or another iteration of that best possible timeline if you are already in it but just looking forward so okay this is the first group of cards this is the second group Mark was also a gift. There's 
something that I enjoy about using gifts in these videos with you. Because then we both enjoy them, maybe? Maybe that's the idea. Okay, so the first So your current situation is the emperor, the key is simplicity, simplicity, and the possible outcome, possible better situation when you forward is the Queen of Wands. So, the Emperor. This is my little booklet. Uh, Radiant Wise Spirit. There we go. I honestly never remember which words go where on this deck name. But, okay. So, the Emperor. Balances Empress energy with rules and foundation. He gives form and shape to the Empress's expansive nature. The Emperor holds an Ankh, the Egyptian symbol of immortality. The globe in his left hand reflects his dominion over the material world. The astrological symbol of Aries is represented by the ram placed on his throne. He surveys his domain. The Emperor is where your habits and patterns are formed. Father, order, authoritarian, firm masculine nature, strong and assertive, setting limits and rules, type A personality, formation, and stability. Okay, so then, Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Right. This is you know, your future. Mature and developed sense of sensuality and sexuality. Charismatic personality who draws people like a moth to the flame. The feminine mastery of fire and embodiment of the suit. Generous devotional energy and a deeply spiritual woman. One who ignites the passion of others and always remains true to her cause. Tireless energy and loyalty to those around her an actress, public speaker, and one who shines in the public eye and empowers those around her. And then we have the key, which is simplicity. Simplicity, simplicity. So my reading of this is that maybe you are in a position right now where you are too orderly, too strict, too authoritarian, there is an excess of masculine energy, perhaps. And it's through a pairing back or a pairing down of this card's energy of rules and order that you could achieve a more balanced, more spiritual, and more feminine energy-driven So perhaps loosening your grip a bit, just a bit, just a bit of loosening or a gentle messing up of all the things that you have in strict order to make some room for a more warm and inviting and tolerant and flexible nature for yourself and for others. That is the first group. The second group is here. We have your current situation is the Ten of Swords. The key, the key is this. It is the square, uh, one shape present in And then we have your view to the future, which is mm, 
the Ten of Cups. It is so positive. So, so positive. So, um, okay. First, we will read the meanings here. We are looking for the Ten of Wands. First and foremost. This booklet has it in many languages. Maybe I will try to read it in Italian or Spanish sometime. That could be fun. Okay, here's Wands. Ten of Wands. Culmination of effort. Need for rest and rejuvenation. Release what is no longer needed. The end has arrived, and the cycle has run its course. A man is weighed down by the heavy wands upon his back. Wands are an exhaustive suit because it is the element of passion. Fires can warm us, but they can blaze out of control if left untended. Allow the passion of wands to simmer down so you can build your strength and stamina once again. Everything in life is in flux. Your need of downtime will soon be replaced with enthusiasm as you spring back to life. For now, though, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, so we are looking for the Ten of Cups. Here's Cups. Okay. Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. Sweet and playful culmination of the heart. Family, conclusion, the finale and ending. A happy family is seen below a simmering, simmering, shimmering rainbow. The mother and father raise their arms to the sky while children frolic and play. It is the fairy tale happily ever after card. The picture offers a standard Disney-fied vision of happiness. Our personal happily ever afters would likely look wildly different from the scene illustrated here. But the important thing is that it represents once again, the tarot offers a generic image to serve as a metaphor for our lives. This particular one ends in a satisfied conclusion. So my feeling is that you are already at the end of a long, long, long road. As evidenced by this card, culmination. And you can see the weight of these wands and the weight of Right? It's a culmination of your effort. So you've already arrived at the end, but why does it feel so draining still? It's because you need to rest and relax, and then it will feel more like this, more like the joyous, happily ever after that you were hoping for. And the key we want to use to get there is this square. So, um, there we go. The square. I don't know incredible amounts about sacred geometry, but I do know the square, as you can see here, represents something complete, comprehensive, coherent. Each side can represent one of the elements, for example. It's also a firm foundation. It is protection from chaos. It is protection from threats through rules, 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 and order. So maybe you need some more order um, in order to reach this blissful state. But I would say in my interpretation that it may be hard for you to rest and kind of replenish your well. Maybe it's not something that comes naturally to you because you are willing to put in the work, all the blood, sweat, and tears, but maybe it's hard for you to take a step back and really rest. And maybe one way to do that is through rules and order, a kind of firm hand helping you to seek that rest so that you can 
enjoy the fruits of your labors. So that is the second group. And then we have the third, which has in your current situation, we have the King of Pentacles. And then the key is imperfection. This these leaves here. This leaf with a hole in it, rather. But look how beautiful the world still is and this plant still is. And then finally, like your view to the future is temperance. Like how gorgeous are these colors, right? Okay, so we start with the booklet looking for this friend which is the king of pentacles okay here we go the king of pentacles sits on his throne atop a bustling city of commerce Grapes and vegetation signify growth of all things in the material world. His eyes are closed, as if to snooze, reflecting his slow yet powerful energy. Success in the material world, real estate and homes, finance and business talent. Investing wisely, enjoying the good life after working diligently to create it. That sounds nice. And then we have your view to the which is Temperance, Major Arcana. So, let's see. It is 14. Here it is. Archangel Gabriel, the messenger angel, is depicted on this card. He bears the sign of the sun on his forehead. It is also the alchemist's symbol of gold. Temperance and the Moon card balance each other. Each has a pool and path under different circumstances. This card reflects the change of seasons and the embrace of new ideas. Temper is the act of repetition to invoke skill or to refine something, make sharper like a sword. Alchemy, blending and harmonizing oppositional forces and concepts holding opposing ideas, and fostering complexity in life, fusion, producing evolution. So, my interpretation of this is, where's the sip of tea? So, my interpretation of this is, this is your current situation. You have invested wisely, you are successful, talented, sitting on top of all the spoils that you've worked so hard for. Um, but perhaps it's like a little boring. You know, your eyes are closing, you are contented, maybe a little complacent. It's just my interpretation of it. Because I wonder if through imperfection, and welcoming, um, doing something new less well than you do the things you already know you're good at, right? So doing something new, um, even if there is a learning process involved in it, and opening yourself to imperfection, to risk, to um, the chance of failure, might bring you to a new vista. So maybe some more inner peace represented by temperance. But maybe too, as it said, this card can represent um, creation by fusion and other generative uh, forces. So maybe this kind of opening could lead you to more a more satisfied state, a more grounded, balanced state. I don't think you're unbalanced at the moment, but it does appear that you have it all and that you are good at all that you do, which is a 
select grouping of things and you've done well for yourself, right? But that's not the only aspect of life, the only way to experience life, the only thing you know, maybe you need a challenge um, and like a a new lease to do things imperfectly and find through that these new generative powers, these new grounding powers uh, to fill you in a new way. That would be I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you would like me to do more, just let me know. Just let me know because I enjoy reading with you. I read a lot for myself, but it's only really through this that I get a chance to read for other people. I hope that you are doing super, super well. And if you're not, that's okay too. I will see you very soon. Good night. Good night.